Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your March 2021 tarot reading. This is for all Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you're new to the channel, I post new readings every Friday and then again on Monday or Tuesday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check back in a couple of days. You could watch um, really any reading. Uh, tarot is sacred divination, so spirit doesn't use a human calendar like we do. It's truly the readings are timeless. So um, I do want to thank everyone who's subscribed to the channel and everything that you've done to support the channel. I think of you every day. I appreciate every single one of you and send my love to you. So thanks again for that. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to invite you to join us. Then you'll know if I make any announcements on the channel. So let's begin and get the guidance for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One came out, so we'll get to that in a minute. What messages do you have for Aquarius, please? Okay. Let's begin here. We'll get to you. And we'll begin here with the tarot, and then we will do the angel answers oracles. Um, you've got here, boy, Seven of Cups has been very popular lately. Current situation is the Seven of Cups, but with the King of Swords. Your destiny is the Knight of Pentacles, the distant past you of the Devil, the more recent past you of the Tower, which I like to see those because these are in order. You know how much I enjoy that. And then you have, wow, this is really interesting. Then you have Temperance. Um, normally, I believe the star is after the tower, but that's okay. I like to see this here too. You're represented by the four of pentacles. The person or situation you are dealing with is the hermit. You've got the page of cups and then the 10 of cups and the outcome. Now we're going to get to this in, in a minute here, but we've got these clarifiers are interesting to me. You have here Capricorn, Sagittarius, Virgo, you've got water, You've got air and you've got earth here, okay? So um, <laughs> with this, I feel like anything that you're moving away from with that five of pentacles brings in more. It's like that great paradox of letting go. Let go and more will be given. You've got a beautiful reading here of, you know, there's celebration here. There's coming together here. There's really, it's really truly a reading about galvanizing people and coming together. And so you've got a new cycle with the Wheel of Fortune. And so it really is about allowing yourself to let go of anything that isn't in your best interest anymore. So with that Five of Pentacles, if you're in some kind of a group or a job or something that you really need to let go of, they're showing it in the cards here that it's like let go or be dragged, you know. But the alternative to that is when you let go, more is given. And so with the Three of Pentacles and this Wheel of Fortune, You've got a long-term, you know, projection or trajectory of abundance, of growth, of stability. But really, it is, it really feels abundant, like an abundant new time as you let go of, of whatever that is that is needed to be taken out with the devil in the tower here. So you may have some decisions weighing on you with the seven of pentacles, or excuse me, seven of cups, and having a hard time making some choices here. But the King of Swords comes in, and this may be somebody who you work with or somebody who gives you some direction in terms of career, or it may just be communication that shows up. Maybe you're researching or doing something online and you find just the right information that helps you make the best decision for yourself. Um, I do feel like in terms of a relationship, there's definitely love here, but I feel like you're kind of stuck in a way, like you're both kind of gone within here and not really... You've got coming together here, but there's something about being um, broken up here or away from each other right now. And so with this, it may also be a focus on other things. Like as you focus on yourself, you focus on getting in really great shape. You focus on some habit that you didn't want anymore and you're re ready to let go of it. That may be with that walking away is more about letting go of some other areas that are holding you back and you know they are. You know, maybe you're you're looking for new love and you say, but I don't want to meet anybody when I, I smoke like I do and I can't seem to stop. Or I've got some other habits with money and I've been spending too much money and I need to get my credit cards get down. That kind of thing. The King of Swords will come in and, and help you. It gives you the energy to really get 
decisive, get determined, get motivated here to make some serious changes, but it brings in a wonderful new energy. So your destiny here, you've got long-term stability, you've got money stability here, and it's really about you being invested in goals, you're able to commit to things. And with this Knight of Pentacles, it's also the yellow in the backdrop is the universe bringing in gifts. So I feel like you have on your life path of, of opportunities. And so it's really about capitalizing on those. It's also though with this is, is using, you know, not, not impulsively just rushing into things. It's sort of like using that discernment and going with what feels right to you, allowing your intuition too to come in and help guide you and knowing what's the next right thing to do, who's the next right person that needs to show up. And it all comes into order and alignment. So if you were stuck in something, some kind of a bad pattern here with the devil, this is in the distant past, but this can represent, you do have alcoholism in the reading. I'm just going to say that um, for somebody here, if it was you or somebody else around you, there's definitely addiction here. And maybe it wasn't alcohol per se, but this is also the card of the addict, but temperance can be the card of the alcoholic too. So that's why I say this. Um, but the, the difference with temperance is that's into recovery. This is not, this is being chained. And it's also whatever this was, if it was a person or it was something within you personally, it was really muting who you could be. You know, really life is not about all the degrees that we go out and get. It's actually about using our talents. And when we're in this muted energy, you see how he holds that fire, but he holds it down so it doesn't serve any purpose. He's got talents, he's got resources, but he doesn't use any of them. And so instead of being in the sunlight of the spirit, we're in the shadow side of things. But the good news is about this in, in the tower too, is the shadow is the greatest guide into the light. So when you live through this contrast, whatever this was for you, it changed you. It put you on that path. You know, when you are flat on your back and you don't think you can go on, that can be the greatest catapult into a stratosphere that you didn't know existed. And so here it comes because the universe comes in because life will move you forward. When you're in this, you're not going to stay in that forever. Life comes in and moves you forward. And this is the wake up call that needed to happen. So I don't know if somebody got sober here or it was like, you were really in some pretty crippling financial stuff going on there because of a bad, like I said, a bad habit or routine or even an addictive tendency. The tower comes in and knocks everything down because this is not sustainable. What This castle, this tower was not sustainable on sand. But from this is, like I said, when you are catapulted into this orbit that you didn't know existed, this is where your greatness begins. So we like to see the tower after the devil. It's an incredible sign together because there's 78 cards here. So for cards to come out in order, it's important. Somebody had a huge shift in their life here. And I love the way the story unfolds here because you go from the tower and this, this really kind of a rude awakening, but it's also the um, corporate raider of the of the deck, okay? This is the one that comes in and says, nope, this has to shift, but we're going to build it better. And so here's the better, right? Here's the happily ever after. You get into temperance, and it's the card of the Archangel Michael. It's that new dawn, that new beginning, and it's beautiful. It's coming together with people. It's galvanizing people, like I said earlier, but it's such a wonderful healing energy. So whatever you've been through, you have such profound healing. I feel like it touches every single person around you. Allow this to come in because you're healing here. I mean, when we talk about a new cycle beginning, isn't this beautiful? You've got wonderful new aspects showing up. So whatever you've been through doesn't define you, okay? The mistakes become masterpieces. It really is this energy of connecting with your spirit. He hope, dips his toe in the water here, right? This is the seat of the soul. It's connecting with your spirit. And it's also for some of you, you need to have a conversation with somebody. There's love here. But I feel like you two are at odds, whoever this is, or you're blocked in some way. And you got to come out of this. You got to let this work in your life because you're represented here by the miser of the tarot. 
So the good news is, um, if you know, if you're not the problem, then there is no solution. So if you're the problem, there's always a solution, right? You're the solution. And it's being open. This is that card. I, I talk about this a lot too, of having a noisy mind and an armored heart. You've got your heart armored here. You got to open up and allow that energy to flow through you, harmonize with you, and know that you are on the right path. Whatever you've been through was for you. It was not done to you. It was for you, and it was an evidence. It was it was data, whatever you want to call it, of your own power in your life. You are the master of your own reality. So with this, if you're hanging on to money, we, it's time to be open. You know, if you've made some mistakes in the past with money and your antidote is to hold on to it for dear life, more money can't come in. So this is not a high vibrational frequency here. This is all about being closed off. So you got to raise your vibration, whether it's through meditation, which this can be a person or a situation. And the hermit is a shaman. It's a wonderful spiritual teacher. So some of you may be on the path of discovering a new spiritual teacher and it doesn't have to be in live person. It may be something even on YouTube that you stumble across. And the next thing you know, everything changes. With that tower, everything is changing and it's for your highest good. Now, in terms of a relationship, again, I mentioned you're, you're not connected to this person right now, but I do feel like they run deep. I feel like this person is in a place where they're also on a path of self-discovery, self-mastery, and wanting to be ready. They want to be ready for a relationship. This is not somebody out on Tinder and Bumble running around to every Starbucks in town with different people. They don't need that. They are connecting with who they really are. And I feel like when you two come together, it's dynamite. So the Page of Cups is your hopes and fears. And I feel like too, with the Temperance card being here, that's all about wearing the world like a loose fitting garment. So as you are reinvented and reborn, there's more, there's a lighter energy about you. It's having fun. It's being open to things much different than that four of pentacles. This is being open. It's having fun. It's also too a chance meeting. So again, there is a relationship here. So if you haven't met him yet, it could be a chance encounter. Or if you're separated, it also may be, like I said, that chance meeting where, because this is also a law of attraction card. It's manifesting. So the Ten of Cups is the outcome. It's celebration. It's opening up your arms and your heart and your mind to the universe and receiving gifts. It's that rainbow after the storm. I love to see it next to the tower because, you know, you've got this huge storm and then there's the rainbow that brings in the blue skies. They're telling you that you're on a path where whatever you've been through is bringing you into the abundance, the prosperity, and the love that you've been seeking. So what you are seeking is also seeking you, and here it is where you find it, each other. It's that juncture where what you are seeking and, and what's seeking you come together. All right, let's do the angels here and see what the angels have to say for Aquarius. And a... Timeline, please, for Aquarius. And that yes, no, maybe. All right, you have here peaceful resolution. So again, it can't be any clearer in the cards. You're definitely on a trajectory of love, healing, and manifesting. They do say if you believe, so ask, believe, receive. And big happy changes. Again, you've got a wonderful energy moving you into the spring here, Aquarius. It really is beautiful. And take action. So whatever conversation needs to happen here, if that's what it is, or it's you just being in that energy field of love, that may be also it, that it helps you to know what the next right action is. But the answer is yes, okay? So you can have do or be anything you become what you think about. You really truly are, the universe is your mirror. The external reality that you look at is the mirror of what's going on inside of you. So you have to be it to keep it, right? So I love you, Aquarius, and I'll be back again soon.